Hello Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 23rd of March till the 29th of March. Wow, doesn't time fly? At the end of this coming week we are in, uh, in a new, in the second quarter of the year. So I thought, well, I'll do a nine card spread and then you can see whether it relevates or resonates with you with the last three months from the 1st of January. So you can use the fir first row, January, February, March, but this is also your weekly card. And I'm also using the clarification card as a theme or catalytic card uh, from the underneath the deck. And I'm using the goddess deck and I'm using the answer of the angels deck and an inspiration card from Wayne Dyer. Now, the Scorpio reading is mind blowing. They've got Ostera and that is the goddess of spring. So they've got extra luck. I don't know, but I feel that they've got extra luck. All the readings were, are beautiful and I couldn't get into the readings yesterday so I had to give up in the end. I tried and tried and tried again but I skipped the whole lot. I did about five of them and I skipped them and I started again today. So um, today it's been fine. We do get our ups and downs or <laughs> blocks <laughs> as they say. So welcome to the channel Charlie's Angel Tarot if you're new and um, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell and then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live every Monday and Friday uh, in English language and on Wednesday I go in Dutch. This is a bilingual uh, channel and so uh, the family is growing rapidly so uh, that's why I've segregated it uh, because uh, uh, sometimes I can't expect my moderators to be there every night and I thank them for being my moderators when they do come in. They're awesome. They are, some of them are also creators. I thank them from the depth depth of my heart and they are obviously cyber angels so welcome my cyber angels and thank you for supporting this channel without you you don't it wouldn't be as terrific as it is it is a really unique channel it's the only bilingual channel that i know of if you know of another bilingual channel then please let me know it would be great to get into contact with uh, an other uh, creator that is bilingual and um, I'm doing it in English because English is much easier to translate in any language since I read for people in China, India, uh, Japan, uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, America, Canada, France, Italy, Spain. So welcome to all my international uh, cyber angels. It is absolutely awesome. I'm also doing new things. So if you would like to become a cyber angel, then please join me live. Please share and like this video. And I, I uh, am very grateful if, when you do. And um, it's awesome. So I'm only going to read the vertical lines. Um, but just to explain, this is what an extensive reading looks like. I do it with nine cards. You can read the corners, you can read the verticals, you can read the horizontals, you can re read the cross and the diamond. And awesome, you get so much information from an in-depth reading. Also, the bottom of the card, of course, and like I said, the angel card, the inspiration card, and the goddess card. When I do an, um, an extensive reading, I use also other cards. It doesn't have to be these cards. If it's a romance reading, I usually uh, also use the romance cards, for example, or other oracle cards to sustain the reading. Let's get started. Um, you can find also information below the video on how to reach me or you can uh, click on the little white uh, circle and it will take you through to the um, website. To start off with, you have the moon Sagittarius. The moon means that you might be or you might have met because it's already the past <clears throat> and that was January but it, if it's this week you could be meeting a Pisces um, 
or you've already met a Pisces person as the moon represents Pisces from the big arcana and um, also you've got the dark side of the moon you can see it very clearly on this card and that means that you might need more information because the moon the star and the sun are spotlights so you are in the spotlight so there could be a Pisces having an eye on you and uh, in the the moon when it shines uh, when you are in the spotlight you are definitely being recognized it could be with regards to a question or a situation or an issue and you might need more information on that but follow the light on your path to the north node because you're on the right path okay listen to your intuition or your psyche or uh, your gut feeling because it also means intuition spirituality faith uh, perhaps you might uh, is the warning here have faith in yourself okay have uh, your spirituality or your emotions might be very very sensitive at this time because remember we have just gone into I think the moon of Virgo um, I'm not quite sure because I'm not an astrologer but if you need to uh, find out that information then go through ordinary Audrey uh, Allison or go to Patrick he's an English astrologer uh, I forgot his surname now but they're very good astrologers and there you can see which moon we are in now but we are in Aries we've just come, come into Aries and we are in spring and uh, some say spring starts at 21 of March and that's what I've always led to believe but with the non-witches and non-pagans or the pagans rather they have the goddess Ostera and that's what Scorpio got and that means springtime the goddess of spring everything is coming to life again after uh, being dormant there might have been disagreement disagreements or arguments in the past but they were short-lived because the Sun is already breaking through this could happen on Monday so don't give anybody any ammunition to use against you okay turn around away from arguments or disagreements say I'll talk to you when you've calmed down so make that choice because the crossroads is here which is depicted in a splitting stairway so make sure that you, uh, if you can, uh, postpone it, this discussion that might lead to arguments or disagreements, that you can have that choice. Don't give anybody ammunition. Get your information before you start getting into a discussion. Don't let it run riot. There are things that you don't know, okay? You've got the dark side and you've got the dark side of the moon so try to find out uh, more information just ask the person what you would you like to discuss and then take time out to make a decision to uh, to get more information so you can make a choice as what as to what you are going to do this is my querent card because then I can read all the cards around it so there are things that you don't know or perhaps you may, might be starting a new study the time is here now broken through to start a new study you've got the clock on the book so you are going to open that book that is your choice because you've got the choice there so you might be starting a new study and getting more wisdom you've got above you you've got the woman with the bare chest she also has the sign of Venus love passion so perhaps you might be starting to study something that you're passionate about or that you love you have nothing to hide you haven't got the secrets you just want the knowledge and you don't want any secrets you want to gain knowledge look at the woman she's already looking out towards her goal outside the window 
So you might be meeting a woman and this is spades, so it could be an air sign, could be a Gemini, could be a Libra, could be an Aquarium. And they stand for knowledge, wisdom, and they're always eager to learn. Okay, and communication. You might need uh, knowledge in order to communicate uh, clearly what you want or what you're all about, if that is going to be your career. You might be moving home or moving uh, 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 to another job. You've got the Queen of Hearts here. That could be a Cancer, Scorpio or a Pisces, or you could be meeting her. I'm not using the cartomancy in the readings today, but if it sticks out like a sore thumb, I will. And I've done that. So uh, let's go back to the stalks. You might be moving home. Uh, you could be hearing of a, a, a birth or finding out you're pregnant. If you're if you're not pregnant and you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. But a birth could be of a child or of a new job, a new project. Perhaps you might have choices. Um, there's a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation. If you have been uh, down and let's say down and out uh, in your feelings or depressed, um, you've made a decision uh, to move on to new newer pastures and get information so that you can perhaps in a relationship or a partnership have a 360 degrees turnaround. Now it means new beginnings anyway so good luck with that Sagittarius you're on the right path because you've got the information this is in the present and you can change the present but you can't change the past so move onwards and upwards and up to this new exciting beginning and gather the knowledge and use your knowledge wisely you're on the right path so stay on straight and narrow follow the light on your path now wow you've got two navigating cards here the moon says is shining light on your path you're on the right path because you're following your northern note boom it's also in line with the book to gain more knowledge to do this study so if your question was can I uh, start this romance can I start this study yes you can you're on the right path you can take this gamble this is in the future so long you learn you learn to communicate boom that's the Queen of Air okay okay this will bring uh, this will also bring in money because you've got the ten of diamonds new beginning so this could be a new love affair this could be moving in together this could be uh, uniting together like I said pregnancy that is bringing you two together uh, or a new project partnerships you can take this gamble so long you've got the knowledge you can check you've got the key in your own hand you always have so with decisions with responsibility by taking responsibility you can change the present and the future you've got the lily so this means because it's got a church window it means that the angels and the divine the, the source God the universe has your back so long you get the information because the lilies means good luck in work good luck in business it also means seeking the right advice from a professional person or from a father figure or a mature person here you are the book means getting knowledge getting the answers there are things you don't know so if you don't know this could be of a teacher or a father figure or a bookkeeper or a social worker or a lawyer if you are in a judicial issue or a situation boom the future is looking good again it is I'm here I'm seeing exclamation marks listen listen to your intuition get that extra information be logical you are a Sagittarius you are logical you are strategic you can plan you are creative at what you you are creative you got creativity you 
can get anything you want because you're determined you are one of the most determined signs that I know I know that Leo and Aries are determined Aries definitely Leo is but is easier easier going he will take his time but you definitely go like a bat out of hell but make sure you know what it is you've got the uh, magnifying glass so and I see charts here so um, um, make a plan an itinerary take the uh, uh, a plan of steps so get the information get the right maps get the right maps get the right so you can strategically plan your way and you go into action like a bat out of hell okay now from the goddess you've got sick mit sick mit be strong the goddess sick mit and you've got the lion and where did we I saw a fire sign oh yes I mentioned the lion okay Sagittarius well you got there might be a lion helping you or get the energy of the lion take it sh uh, surely but gently be determined you are stronger than you think um, and your strength makes you sure that you uh, uh, that there will be a good result a good outcome your strength can carry you through you're stronger than you think if it's with regards to romance well you've got the cards of romance I think it is more of a study um, that you want for those that are not hooked up then there could be a romance with a Leo this could also be a romance with a, a water sign or a, an air sign because we've got the Queen of uh, 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 on the Queen of Capricorn but we've got the King of Staves the King of Air we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Water it could be anybody the cards aren't sexist but um, perhaps it might be clearer to some of you more clear than others these cards here you are you've got the four signs so um, like I said it could be any of the signs uh, if you want to take it uh, actually like the man of air uh, Gemini uh, Libra or Aquarius and the king of fire Sagittarius Aries and Leo the queen of water is Cancer Scorpio and um, Pisces and uh, let me see the uh, queen 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 of Pentacles uh, Earth uh, Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn or uh, Taurus but um, all the signs are there but those are the two feminine and the two masculine now for your inspirational card Sagittarius you've got attract peace well you're not attracting peace only you're attracting romance by the looks of it non-conflict be non-conflictional okay so have patience have patience that is the past walk away from it that is what you've decided most probably vow to have fewer conflicts in your life you came from no conflict so you can return there and know heaven and earth by refusing to have your inner world conflict by anyone at any time affirm over and over I attract peace non-conflict I will read it again vow to have a fewer conflicts in your life you came from no conflict so you can return there and know heaven and earth by refusing to have your inner world conflicted good I read it wrongly my excuses so that your inner world cannot be touched by other people that wish to have a conflict boom walk away your inner world conflicted by anyone at any time affirm over and over I attract peace not 
conflict attract peace that is beautiful sorry now I've sorry go and sit by water or go to water and listen to the water of the waves on the beach and bring you silence and no conflict that is the past let it go beautiful I think you've got a good strong uh, position at the moment you need to do research before you make any further decisions you know what you want you are looking towards it you are looking towards business uh, luck in business or at work and perhaps a little gamble and you can see you're on the right path Wow now stay on that path and always um, take time out to meditate or contemplate take your peace love yourself nurture yourself and get the unnecessary information don't you know don't go shooming off like you usually do take a, a page out of the Leo book okay he's gentler he's just relaxing and letting everybody else the women do the work that's how I picture Leo but once he's got his goal he goes for it okay take care my darlings and I hope to see you in the life be blessed and stay strong and remember walk away from stress but if you can help somebody then please help somebody together we stand strong I maintain that love and peace please share and like take care and be blessed Thank you.